Guys, can everybody get following, please? I need 50 followers. Uh, there's Dyker saying chocolate is wonderful. Is that right? Yes, chocolate is wonderful. I think he's saying it's Irish for chocolate is wonderful. Yes, but don't eat too much of it. People send to OD on chocolate at Christmas time, Dyker. Uh, Scotty, you bam. <laughs> John, you bam. Did you do, Scotty boy? There we are. At the end of the day, Scotland deserves to be treated fairly. Of course it does. I mean, saying they're not going to give it a referendum, it shouldn't be up to them. It's a 50-50 decision. There we are. Nothing wrong with a referendum. I actually prefer Trump than any other of the recent politicians. They didn't want to slide. Oh, yes. Listen. Look at all the huge, huge anti-Trump stuff out there. What does that tell you? What does that tell the world? Yes, have a look at that. Haggis for breakfast, you wee Scottish man. I, I had haggis for breakfast yesterday, along with black pudding and lawn sausage and a couple of links and some tea and toast. Stop! Stop! Fantastic, I said you. Yeah. Scotland said no. No, Scotland said no eight years ago, pre-Brexit. Brexit has completely economically annihilated the UK. We lost 250 billion quid, and they're trying to get it back by refusing to pay the nurses and refusing to, you know, give the nurses an increase in pay and the rail workers an increase in pay, and the ambulance workers an increase in pay, and the teachers an increase in pay, and the civil servants an increase in pay, apart from a derisory, derisory thing. I mean, you've got inflation running at 11%, I would say. It might even go to 12% before people sober up. And um, so you need to, if you're offering 3 or 4%, You'd actually need to offer about 15 or 16 percent to public sector workers. Now, they've got the money to do it, with plenty of money. It would cost about 12 billion pounds. In the time that we had um, the prime minister in, uh, what was her name again? The lady one was in for a few days. Um, it cost us 90 billion pounds. Brexit cost us two hundred and fifty billion pounds. The um, pandemic cost us one hundred and fifty billion. So you're up to about five hundred billion pounds wasted by the present government. Wasted, yes. Doom the swanee. So if you've if you've wasted, well, we could take a bit out for the pandemic. Let's call it. 400 billion wasted and 12 billion would give every public sector worker an inflation proof increase in wages. So does that not put things in perspective? There we are. Fantastic. So Scotland only said no because also the nationalists need to 100% adopt the monarch, get behind the monarch as our uh, our first lord as our head of state. Yes, indeed. So there we are, King Charles.